Hello Tottenham fans, welcome to the channel. Subscribe for more news from your favorite team. News Tottenham update on Kulusevski and Richerlisen. Assistant manager Christian Stellini has revealed new updates for the team of journalists who attended Tottenham's pre-Nottingham Forest press conference this afternoon. Spurs turn their attention to the Carabao Cup by traveling to the city ground, where they will bid for their spot in the fourth round of the competition, looking to forget about losing to Liverpool. Some wonder why Stellini led the press conference and not Antonio Conti, the reason being that Tottenham Hotspurs are not obliged by any contract to hold a press conference for a League Cup game, which ends up releasing the coach from 53 years to focus elsewhere. Stellini already has a certain ease in dealing with media functions, having done so during the recent match against Marseille. Such is the protocol, the media are informed of the availability of the Spurs squad before the game against Steve Cooper's team. Spurs were sure to be boosted by the return of Kulusevski over the weekend, the Swede made an instant impact on the bench to set up Harry Kane to pull back against the Merseysiders. Stellini said that Kulusevski is not yet ready to play the full 90 minutes, and that Richerlisen is already available for Forrest's game, even though he has only trained for two days. He said, Football London Richerlisen is back in training, he's an available player but thinking he's only had two days of training. About Kulusevski, we lost him at the last international break. We can't say he can play 90 minutes because it's a long-standing injury. We have to be careful with him. Spurs Web Opinion Spurs have made at least the final four in three of the last four seasons, however they have not lifted the trophy since beating Chelsea in the 2008 final. The trophy is long overdue in the white half of North London and fans are hoping they are still involved in the competition after the conclusion of the World Cup. Thanks for watching. Leave your opinion in the comments until the next Spurs news.